Good morning, Ray, KD2IBP. Uh, it's the 13th of April, 2020. We're in quarantine for this coronavirus nonsense. Uh, down in the ham shack, goofing around. And uh, today I want to talk about these uh, trigger cycle timer control boards, uh, like the one that you see here. Um, these range from 5 volts to 36 volts on this side of the board. What you put into this side of the board on a normally open uh, contact is, when this is normally open, your input voltage ranging from 5 to 36 will come out of here when that circuit closes. So if you got 5 volts coming in, you got 5 volts, 5 volts coming out when the circuit closes. You control when this opens and closes by this side of the board, okay? And you program different parameters, different timing sequences, whether you want the switch to be normally opened and then close on contact. Do you want it to be normally closed and open on contact? Uh, that's up to you. I'll show you, uh, I'll give you a, a little uh, instructional in the comments section and you uh, decide how you want to use it. Uh, the trigger voltage could be anywhere between three volts DC and 24 volts DC and that'll tell the timer when to start and when to stop. Well, it'll tell the timer when to go through the sequence that you program in with these four buttons. We'll get into that a little bit later. If you have any questions, you just uh, comment. I'll be uh, happy to answer it the best I can. Uh, these control boards are like $2 a piece. They could range from $2 to $12, whether you get them off of eBay or Amazon. <coughs> Uh, it's up to you. If you get them from eBay, you're getting the stuff from China. You may not get it for a couple months till after you order it. they got to ship it. And it's possible that you get some garbage and you might have to throw some of the stuff out because uh, to send it back to China to get your money back, it wouldn't be worth it. It'd probably cost you 30 bucks to get your $2 back. So just chuck them in the garbage and uh, take it on the chin like a champ. Okay? Uh, you'll see this, this particular board here has a relay. Uh, this has transistors on this board. Uh, you'll see different segments in the LEDs. Uh, this is a 4, this is a 3. Uh, they come in a couple different configurations. You do, let your fingers do the walking on the keyboard uh, to see which one works best for you. Uh, again, the instructions are typically garbage. I'm going to put, put the instructions for this particular board. This is an HW0516. If you scan over the board, you might find some numbers. You may not, but uh, look around on the internet and uh, that might help you out a little bit. Just to demonstrate straight quickly how this works, I'm going to put 12 volts to this side of the board. It'll power up the board, okay? And it'll also bring voltage to the transistors that in this case are normally open. When I send a trigger voltage to this side of the board, it's going to tell this timer to run for four seconds. Close. It's going to tell the board to close this section, run the voltage out to the load, which in this case will be a motor, okay? It'll tell it to do it for four seconds and then open up again until it's triggered again, okay? This is going to feed, this is going to control my uh, automatic feeder on my fish tank, okay? I'll have 12 volts coming in. I'll have 12 volts telling this thing to close at 6 p.m. every night, at 6 p.m. every night. I'll have 12 volts go to this. It'll tell this to dump fish food into my tank for four seconds and then close down until the next time it tells it to, which will be sec uh, 6 o'clock p.m. the next evening. All right, so I'm going to power it up. This is the 12 volts. I'm going to use a 9-volt battery just for demonstration. Again, this side of the board is separate from this side of the board, so you could run anywhere from 5 volts, excuse me, 3 volts to 24 volts DC to get that trigger to go. Boom. 1, 2, 3, 4 four seconds. All right, so it's not going to do anything else until I send another trigger command. At six o'clock p.m. the next day, it'll send 12 volts to that trigger. Boom. One, two, three, four. Now, if you notice that indicator light came on, that showed that those transistors, boom, are closed on this side, running the 12 volts in and out. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll answer the best way I can. Uh, like and share. And uh, I would appreciate that. And uh, that's that for today. KD2 IBP. Feel free, free to follow. Uh, we have some cool stuff on here every once in a while. Okay. 73 KD2 IBP. Clear for now.